नमस्कार दोस्तों आपका अपने चैनल मनोज गुप्ता एकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है दोस्तों आज हम क्लास सेवेंथ के जनरल साइंस में लेसन नंबर टेन डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट इस लेसन का एक्सरसाइज करने वाले हैं सो so, फ्रेंड्स अभी तक आप लोगों ने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल लाइक कीजिए और अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर कीजिए दोस्तों आप लोग इस वीडियो को अच्छी तरीके से देख करके अच्छी तरीके से सुन करके भी इसके क्वेश्चन आंसर बाहर कर सकते हैं ये है लेसन नंबर टेन डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट उसका एक्सरसाइज कर लेते हैं फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन में क्या दिया गया फाइंड द ऑर्ड मैन आउट फर्स्ट फैमिन अर्थ क्वेक क्लाउड बस्ट रेलवे एक्सीडेंट द ऑर्ड मैन आउट इज रेलवे एक्सीडेंट All others are natural calamities. Second, drought, heavy rains, storm, tsunami. The answer is drought. It is a dry spell. The rest are associated with water. Third, lava, hot mud, ash, locust. The answer is locust. All other associated with volcanic eruption. Fourth, washing away of crops, attack of pest on crops, volcano, singeing of crops. The odd one out is volcano. All others are associated with farm. Now next question. Question number two. What are the remedial measures for the following calamities? First, famine. The answer is first. Water should be used judiciously and with care. Proper water management should be done. Second, reusing the water. Third, constructions of chain dams and water harvesting techniques to be adopted at local level. Fourth, prevention of tree felling and planting trees in a very large scale. If deforestation is stopped, it will help in holding more water in the ground and also prevent soil erosion. Fifth, since the impact of climate change are seen everywhere, we must plan the food and water supplies. Now next, second lightning strike. The answer is first, one should stay at home when there is thundering and lightning. Second, one should not take shelter under a tree on the height. or in open ground as there is higher chance of lightning striking here third one should not stand near an electric pole a telephone pole a tower etc fourth not to get into water for swimming fifth install a lightning conductor on the top of one's building now next third storm the answer is first during stormy rain the trees may fall down due to strong winds hence trees are to be Trimmed to avoid any injury. Second, one should take shelter in a safe place. Our whereabouts have to be informed to our family and friends. Third, the electric supply should be stopped in order to avoid any accidents. Fourth, other people should be helped if they need any shelter. Fifth, listening to the radio or any media for the instructions. About storms and following the same is very important for safety. People can be relocated and saved from storm, which is due to come. Now next, fourth cloud burst. The answer is first. In the event of cloud bursting, there is a several rainfall. Therefore, we must move to the safe place. Second, one should not take shelter at the foot still near river banks or near sea coast. It may be dangerous to wait. at such places third we should move to safe places and also help others to go to safer places now next question question number 3 true or false give reasons for your answer first information about the forthcoming storm is to be kept secret the answer is false reason the information about forthcoming storm should be given to the people who may get affected this can save their lives now next second you should not swim when there is lightning in the sky the answer is true reason the electric current from the lightning can enter the water easily and be very hazardous for a person who is swimming this can even cost his life now next third it is possible to prevent the eruption of a volcano the answer is false reason volcanic eruption is a natural disaster which may happen any time there is no technology that can be stop such calamities now next fourth heavy rains result in famine the answer is true reason heavy rains may wash away the crops and cause damage to the farmland this is called a wet famine now next question question number 4 right answer to the following questions in your own words first what is a tsunami what gives rise to a tsunami the answer is first tsunami means huge harbor wave which breaks at the coastal region causing tremendous damage second these waves are formed due to volcanic eruption on the ocean floor or due to earthquake at the bottom of the ocean third the energy released because of the earthquake 
pushes the water upward. This results in the formation of waves. For these waves are not very high near the source, but they spread rapidly to long distances. Fifth, the velocity of these waves is 800 to 900 km per hour. Sixth, upon reaching the coastal area, their velocity is reduced, but their height increases tremendously to about 30 meters. This causes a great damage. Now next, second, what is a cloud burst? The answer is first, the cloud bursting means the excessive rainfall suddenly pouring in a short span of time in a specific area. Second, due to very high temperature near the land, the water coming down from rain clouds does not reach the land in the form of rain, but vaporizes and goes back into the same clouds. Third, this causes large amount of vapor in these clouds. Fourth, when rapid condensation occurs in such water laden clouds, it rains suddenly at a rate of 100 mm per hour or more in a specific area. Now next, third, explain the effects of a volcano. The answer is first, whenever there is a volcanic eruption, the chemical substances such as a lava, vapor, hot mud, sulfur, etc. is thrown out. Second, these substances are usually present in the interior of the earth's crust. When they are thrown out, they form mountains and hills and change the landform. Third, there is atmospheric pollution due to the ash and gases ejected. Temperature of the surrounding area rises due to hot gases by the volcano. Fourth, it starts raining after a volcanic eruption. Fifth, nearby forest and settlements get buried under the hot mud. Now next, fourth, what are the measures to prevent loss of life due to lightning? The answer is first, one should stay at home when there is thundering and lightning. Second, one should not take shelter under a tree on a heights or in open ground as there is a higher chance of lightning striking here. Third, one should not stand near an electric pole, a telephone pole, a tower, etc. Fourth, not to get into water for swimming. Fifth, install a lightning conductor on the top of one's building. Now next question. Question number five. What measures have been taken to deal with calamities such as floods and landslides under the disaster management program in Maharashtra? The answer is first. Disaster management cell has been established by government of Maharashtra to protect the life and property of people of Maharashtra. Second, according to this cell, people are given warning about the storms, earthquakes and floods in advance. Third, in 1976, government has established the National Flood Commission. The commission has made special efforts towards the control of floods. There is a plan made for flood control from national level to village level. Fourth, government makes efforts to stop the large scale damage of property and loss of life by executing this plan. Fifth, if there are landslides or cloud bursts causing loss of houses for the people, then government provides shelter homes. The people are relocated in case of any threat of natural calamity. Sixth, government also have plan for giving all the kind of help to citizen during calamities. Now next question. Question number six, with reference to disaster management, what are the things in your house that you will say? The answer is, with reference to disaster management, the following things in the house need to be checked. First, check whether there are crack developed on wall or not. If yes, get the repairing done as soon as possible. Second, Check whether glass panes and windows are tightly secured or not. If not, get it done urgently. Third, check whether bulky things hanging from ceiling or wall like chandelier etc. are tightly secured or not. If not, get it done urgently. Fourth, check whether there are any broken electric live wire or not. If yes, call the electrician and get it repaired urgently. So friends, आज हमारा यहाँ पे lesson number ten का exercise complete हुआ. Friends, आप लोगों को ये video कैसा लगा? आप लोग comment box पे जरूर लिख करके बताइए. इस video को ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा like कीजिए, अपने friends के साथ share कीजिए ताकि उनको भी question answer मिल सके. और इस channel को subscribe कीजिए. नमस्कार दोस्त.